let's quickly go over how to style pie charts with the Seaburn Python library. So to start out, I've written a small program here, Seaburn underscore demo dot pie, and let's run it quickly and see what it produces for us. Ah, we see we have a pie chart. Let's step through this program line by line now and see how we did that. So on line one, you see we have imported from matplotlib the pyplot interface as plt. Matplotlib is a Python library used to produce graphs and charts. Pyplot is the interface in that library we've used to produce this pie chart and to show it. Let's go down. Lines three and four, we've produced two lists. Line three is a list of the first 10 prime numbers. Line four is a list of the first 10 letters of the English language. Line three will be the data that we're plotting, essentially. It's giving us the relative size of our slices of pie. And line four are the labels for those slices of pie. We come down to line six and we see we've passed our two lists to the plot.py function, the pi function from our pyplot interface as positional value one, in the case of data, a mandatory, a mandatory parameter, and our optional labels parameter, we've passed um, our second list letters. And plot.show is a function that has produced our graph here and shown it to us. So Seaburn is a library that is essentially a wrapper for matplotlib and allows us to style and theme and change some of the, some of the aesthetics of our pie chart. So let's go ahead and do that, explore how to do that. I'm going to close this chart. And the first step will be importing the Seaburn library. I will import Seaburn as SNS. And this is another standard abbreviation like PLT in line one that you'll see throughout the documentation. So I will now use a built-in method or built-in function from the SNS library called setTheme. We'll just use the defaults for now and you'll see what that, that already does for our chart. And here we go. We see that our chart's color palette has changed and that we've got these little white dividing lines separating our slices of pie, making it maybe a little bit easier to read, especially as the colors maybe touch and conflict and become difficult to discern from one to the other. Um, yeah, so this is the very basic set theme defaults for Seaburn. However, we can go in and play with these default values and further customize our graph. Let's have a look at how to do that. So one of the parameters which we can pass to set theme is the palette parameter, which we can use to change the color palette. The default is the deep palette, which we've already seen. This is one of six default variations on the matplotlib basic color scheme that Seaburn employs. Let's, um, let's try another one. Let's try pastel. We can also change the font. Let's, um, so our default font is sans serif. So let's try a serif font, serif, a serif font. And we can also change our font scale. The default is one. This value takes an integer. Let's give it a two. So save this. And now we see we've changed the color palette, the font, and the font scale of our graph. Let's run our program and see what happens.
and we see now that our colors change slightly, our labels are larger, and the font features serifs. Let's um let's see what else let's see what else we can change quickly. So what we've done is pass the font family. However, Seaburn will take any font available in the MATLAB font library. So I've written another small program, which I'll show you now, that just lists for us the fonts in the matplotlib font manager. So all we've done here is import that font manager and we're going to loop through the fonts in the font manager TTF list, the font list, and print them to our console. Let me run this code for it. Let me run this program for us. We see it's printed out all the available fonts. So let's just take one of these, maybe the Bondoni 72 old style. Throw that in, save our code, and run it again. And we can see that we've changed our font somewhat. I don't feel like that's a that's a great big change. Let's um let's find another. Maybe hmm, maybe copper plate. There we go. Copper plate. One word. And there we go, copper plate is a nice big change. I encourage you guys to mess around, get in there, and see what else you can do with um, Seaburn to customize your, um, customize your graphs and charts. But yeah, that's it for me. And um, thanks very much.